Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video will demonstrate how to wire the PPWR to an access control system. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. The PPWR provides a Wiegand credential input to an access control system. You will need the following items. 18 gauge 5 conductor cable with ground drain such as Belden 5304 FE or equivalent, a passport remote control, wire strippers, a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, a small flat screwdriver, a 7 eighths wrench. There must be an available Wiegand input on your access control system. Before we start, let's cover some basics. Do not run low voltage control wires through the same conduit with high voltage lines. Always use a good quality shielded cable for best results. Wiegand cables should never exceed 500 feet. This distance is less if lighter gauge or unshielded cable is used. Disconnect all power to the access control system before making any new connections. Open the PPWR by removing the four screws. Use care not to damage the cable as the front cover comes loose from the enclosure. Remove the green six position connector block from the PPWR receiver board. Note the markings on the board so you'll be able to insert the wires into the connector block in the correct positions. Connections in the PPWR correspond to the Wiegand connections in the access control system. Feed the cable into the PPWR, but don't tighten the strain relief yet. In the PPWR connector block, insert the wires in the following positions and tighten with the small screwdriver. Connect the brown wire to LED. Connect the white wire to data 1. Connect the green wire to data 0. Connect the red wire to 12 through 24. Connect the black wire to common and connect the shield drain wire to shield. Plug the connector block back onto the PPWR board. Pull the, ex pull the excess slack in the cable, leaving a small service loop inside of the PPWR. Tighten the cable strain relief, then tug on the cable to ensure the seal is tight. Make sure the cover seal is properly positioned, then close the PPWR and tighten the screws. Install the antenna onto the receiver. Mount the PPWR in a secure enclosure to prevent tampering. Next, connect the cable to the access control system. Connect the brown wire to LED. Connect the white wire to data 1. Connect the green wire to data 0. Connect the red wire to plus 12 volts. Connect the black wire to COM. Connect the shield drain wire to the grounding point. Close the front panel and reconnect power to the access control system. Following the instructions in the manual, configure the Wiegand input for your access control system to function with your PPWR. You'll also need to add the ID of the remote control to the access control system and assign it to a user. The Passport remote will now control the access point. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Learn more about our access control solutions when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com slash access control.